In section 3 of chapter 9, Mars continues his study of the rate of surplus value. Here, we're going to look at Marx's rebuttal to an economist named Nassau Senor. This section is called Senor's Last Hour. In the early 1800s, this economist, in his Letters on, a, on the Factory Act, published in 1837, uh, he argued that the capitalist makes literally all their profit during the last hour of the working day. His analysis may have been what motivated Marx to discover a surplus value and write his critique of capital. Marx holds Senor in quite a bit of contempt here, and he's even pretty poorly regarded among bourgeois economists. So this really doesn't have a lot of relation to modern economic debate, and knowing this argument isn't going to help you argue against any liberals. I'm just covering it because the point of this series is to cover Marx's capital, so I'm going to go through section by section and make a video for each. In 1847, the Ten Hours Act was passed, which reduced the normal working day from 12 hours to 10 hours, and capitalism did not immediately collapse. So this argument has been settled empirically. Senior's analysis seems to have been that for the vast majority of the working day, the workers are merely working to produce enough value to replace worn out capital, whether the wear and tear of the machines or replacing the cost of raw materials. So from his argument, the workers are basically doing nothing for all but the last part of the day. Marx joked that if this was the case, maybe the capitalists should just hire the workers for that last hour or two, rather than making them work the time before it. But what Senor did not realize, intentionally or otherwise, was that if the capitalists reduced the total hours worked, they would also reduce the total amount of working capital. If you only hire people to work 10 hours instead of 12, you aren't going to be buying 12 hours worth of raw materials for them, nor will you be inflicting the same amount of wear and tear on the machines. Ultimately, what Senor represents is a class of vulgar economists, not scientific economists, whose function in bourgeois society is to provide the capitalists with partisan arguments to further their interests. As Marx writes, the manufacturers chose him to be their prize fighter. There are many of these individuals today making similarly absurd claims that insult the intelligence of their audiences. Claims like the minimum wage hurts workers, for example. And just as people take those ideas seriously today, so too did they with Senor's absurd assertions in 1837.